And on that note, I think we should have the test PI just side by side a little bit, just to see if there were any final memes that went through. But we will have a lot of the visuals, we will have better patch notes, courtesy of Orange Mushroom than actual <laughs> GMS patch notes. But let's see what has made it, what is going to be in there, and what we can expect six months from now for our winter update. Most likely also called Ignition. Very wintry for us, of course. Maybe they call it Frostbite for us, just especially, and make the I into an F. And uh, let's see. So the first patch of the Maple Story Ignition update has been released. The Sickness Remaster gives all the Sickness Knights, including Mihal, an updated look and various improvements. That's the goal, at least. This patch also contains various quality of life changes. Hyper burning that you guys already saw, of course, in the previous patch, burning all the way up to 250. Uh, oh, it already says it right here. And the Ignition Fireworks. I need to keep reading and then elaborate after the sentence is finished. Dude, what are these fucking buccaneer thighs? What's going on here? Chill. Uh, in terms of the remaster, there are basically zero changes from the last test world patch until now. Really disappointing, to be honest. Oh, wow, that's actually interesting. I decided to just do a full skill translation so it won't show the differences from before and after remaster, but you can check the two KMST posts. Yeah, the one I just opened. For those, there was one additional developer note section for Windbreaker, which I'll include here. Oh, okay, so we basically can just ignore this. Awesome. That's, um, hmm. Yeah, that is a bit disappointing that there were no additional changes. I guess they are happy with where it's at, but I guess we don't know exactly. I don't know if people heard from Korea specifically what people thought about the uh, about the stuff, if they were giving direct feedback. So I said you need a wand or staff. You can use either one. If you need the crit rate, you go for a wand. If you don't need the crit rate, go for a staff. Okay, uh, so this is gonna be, holy shit, how long are these pageants, bro? Rosef. Okay, I'm gonna see these go. Move just a little bit to the right, please. But not into my second screen. There we go. Okay. Um, did we already see this? We must have already seen this, right? This is cinematic. Yeah, we saw this. Okay, cool. Close. Uh, oh, this was like a short intro thing. I don't remember hearing this whole thing because it did a Cygnus remaster song. DMCA? Question mark? Let's see if I get DMCA in. Um, more details related to our intentions for this update, including the Cygnus remaster, can we find the ignition showcase in this update? We wanted to supplement the remaster based on players' opinions, play records from our official server, and the test world. Is that the official new, or is this the exact same one as here? <laughs> yeah, it's like the same thing. Okay, I'm not gonna read that again. <laughs> I'll, I won't bore you guys with that. So yeah, new animations, new jumps, new return home animation, beautiful. That you use all the time, of course, when you're teleporting back to Arav and definitely not using the Maple Guide or your teleport rock that everyone has. Elemental Harmony, Elemental Expert, Flash Jump looking a little bit different. That's about it. Maple Warrior looking quite a bit cooler. Sorry, Cygnus. Cygnus Knight's Will. Cygnus Blessing. Transcended Cygnus Blessing, look at that. It was like the, oh yeah, yeah, the, the red and blue effect here. Like the whole rainbow, the spectrum. So apparently the skills have not changed at all since the uh, Tespia, so I'm not gonna read through all of it again. Um, I'm gonna assume that Max did that. So we'll just look at the colors, look at the shiny colors, look at the skill effects. So you know, if you're a Blaze, uh, Blaze if you're a Dawn Warrior, you're gonna be seeing uh, some purple some purple balls floating around. Some better synergy with the cosmic orbs was done from the first to the second KMS Tespia, and apparently they were very happy with that because they kept it that way. Put the lo-fi back on after the song. <laughs> no worries. So we got those effects going on. We got the little cosmic matter explosions. So lunar time. Mm. 
nimble finger. Nice. Shiny colors, very many shiny colors. So Cosmic Shimmer Timer, I just want to double check. It's a 30 second cooldown. It's a 45 second duration, but you can increase the duration even longer. Hmm. I guess that's okay, you can move it if you need to, but if you don't need to move it, you can keep it for quite a while. You can keep it out for a minute, right? Five orbs, three, 15, 60. Silent move, <laughs> loud rush, <laughs> All right, true sight. Decrease defense by 10. Is that 10%? 10 defense doesn't seem like a lot. Increase the final damage they take by 5% for 30 seconds. Noise. Okay, inner shout. Ah! We've got the skills. Spooky, big spooky effects. Okay. Soul penetration. Bam. That's the... Um, wait, is that the bind? Yeah, the bind. Like I said, it applies to bosses as well. Well, no shit, it's a bind. <laughs> Imagine having a bind that doesn't work on bosses. Cringe, bro. Stands. Hmm. Fifteen percent crit damage. Fifteen percent boss damage. Thirty percent ID. Five percent final damage. Two attack speed. Thirty-five percent crit rate. Lots of stuff. Yeah. So. Gonna have to redo the. Well, based on the DPS, <laughs> DPM based on the BAs, just might have to redo the hyper stats a little bit, right? Going into more of the cosmic stuff. Says defense reduction is increased by 10%, so it should be 20% IED instead for everyone. Increased duration by 20 seconds, yeah, that doesn't seem very necessary. Yeah, I was expecting that as well for True Sight to be like Scarring Sword, yeah. That you just buff yourself and then you apply it on all your hits while you're buffed. It's not like Dawn Warrior has so many buffs already that they shouldn't add more or anything. I think they're totally fine in, in the situation where they're at. Interesting. This looks a bit different. It's a, it's a, it's more like a meteor crashing down now, right? and three toggles yeah it's pretty pretty and pretty mild dump pen and hard to get yeah very low drop rate extra flash and then we have the cosmos is cosmic no way is that why it's purple and called cosmos crazy it's pretty big though it's because it's a 15 second burst skill on a 90 second cooldown so it will synchronize with Akana's domain perfectly in the sense that you can you know, you could hit the whole thing during the whole bind. Plus you can use it one time in between if you're on a three minute cooldown with the bind on there. So that's pretty nice. So core changes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, please remember that they changed the color of the... Oh wait, they changed the color of the icon here, but they didn't change this one. <laughs> this one still looks like the old one. So it looks like the shiny Dragon Balls. Dun, 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 dun. I like this fire a lot, this effect. Especially like the after particles. Reminds me a lot of um, Anunashubatai for the fire force for the, for the normies. Spaceman just feels so unorthodox. Yeah, it, it feels like a weird inclusion of new stuff, yeah. 
I was just really expecting for the Thunderbreaker to be very different from what the Buccaneer now is. And for the... Uh, For something else. Oh, the Nightwalker went full Morbin time. Powerful Flame. Yeah, so all of these skills are the same as the, apparently, as the test we had before. I still feel like they should change these icons. I hope these icons aren't permanent. You know, because with the orb, oh, this seems like the old picture again. This is the old picture, right? TB is more water and waves and Buck is lightning and serpents. I mean, they're both like sea creatures and, and water and with elements of lightning. I don't know, it seems to overlap a little bit too much, I know. Then again, the Thunderbreaker is supposed to be like a Cygnus version of the Explorer, right? It's supposed to be like if you make a bow master, but instead of being taught by Athena Pierce, you're being taught by whoever the hell that NPC is. <laughs> Milstrom actually having a bind on the Blaze Wizard. That should be interesting. Or Phoenix. Every magic 130% MP cost increase for 30% final damage. We take those, everyone's got their 100% stance. More huge ass fireballs. Oh wait, is this new? This looks a little new. Hmm. Well, I remember this one. This one looks really cool. And the sun looks different. Doesn't have like the shiny yellow thing in the middle like this. I feel like these icons should all change as well, right? If you change how the skill looks versus the original icon, then the icon should change. Okay, this is still so weird to me. This fire is so different from all the other fire. Like this is, you know, an art style of like how you want to do fire. And this is a different, completely different art style of how you want to do fire, like an Unreal 5 engine or some shit. But like, how are these both part of the same kit? That's so weird to me. How it's so different. I feel like and this fire is like, again, is like very different. I don't know, it can never win with me, right? The skills look too similar, the skills look too different. <laughs> it's always something with this guy. Burning flame pizza. Flame barrier. Lots of flames going on. And all of these skill icons are gonna look like a skill that doesn't even exist, right? Like, all six of these hyper skill icons don't look like the current skill anymore. Queen down, dark side OP. Dark side is kind of OP, yeah. Phoenix drive and the get blinded and the entire map burns into f fiery flames. The change with the flame discharge is probably a decent one. A different way of stacking it. Infinity flame circle. Still weird. Still weirded out that when you're like flying in the air trying to do your burst, you don't at least get like reduced incoming damage or something. But I guess you do your damage faster now. So you're not as much of a sitting duck. <laughs> That's decent. Sure, hard to please, yeah. So I'm mischief with the new little effects with the ember and everything. The ignition cores have been changed to orbital explosion cores. And dragon slave cores changed to phoenix drive cores. That's it. But yeah, so there were actually extra blah, 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 blah. there were extra developer notes for wind breaker. Let's see, wind breaker is roughly wind is skill that has a chance to create a certain number of winds per enemy. So uh, wind for us, right? Uh, but searching for available enemies within range while attacking. And the number of winds. <sighs> is increased based on the number of attackable enemies. For this reason, enemies that could not be attacked, even if they were within range, should not have been included in the wind creation targets. But they were before the remaster. Wounds created for enemies that could not be attacked would attack other nearby enemies because the enemies they were created for could not be hit, and as a result, more wins would be created than certain bosses. 
For this remaster, the skill has been changed so that winds are not created for monsters that cannot be attacked to make the skill function as intended and to correct the issue where it has significantly different performance and different bosses. Wait, so they nerfed it? With this change, Wim's contribution in certain bosses is slightly lower than before, but considering the changes in the various remastered builds as uh, skills, we expect the overall performance to be improved in all combat situations. This was an intended fix for the remaster and was implemented on the June 11th test world update, but the changes... I mean, I guess... We're talking about extra targets. What boss has extra targets that but that cannot be attacked? Hmm. No, he can is in there. <laughs> okay. Well, so it doesn't negatively impact the performance of the Wind Archers too much. So uh, we went from a darker green, if I remember correctly, in the <laughs> in the first test pia to a more light green and a little bit more yellowish tones. Spikier trifling winds. And yeah, this one got a lot yellower, more more limey in color rather than dark green even though the icon is still that same dark green that it was i wonder if they're going to keep the icons all like the old skill even though they change the color of the skills i don't know if he's just doesn't have the resources yet to post in here but i hope that they change it for a job the night the fairy turn Fairy turn is the new skill. Smack them. Just smack them all. Yeah, a lot, I saw a lot of Wind Archers disappointed that you can still not move during Song of Heaven. A lot of people were uh, hoping that that would be a thing. Some people are saying the Stormbringer change was like a nerf compared to the current. I'll be interested to see if they actually... Well, they'll probably get more DPS out of it, probably get more burst out of it, but I wonder how their DPM is going to change, how their, their general damage over time is going to be moved. Hmm. Most of these players are annoyed with the changes. Everything I've seen, nobody's really excited about their classes changes, yeah. For Explorer, basically everybody was, and then for Cygnus, almost nobody is. It's kind of, it's kind of yikes, but... 30 attack, 25% damage, 50 percent defense, ignore, consume, curve, grade, 50 percent set resistance, 50 percent element resistance, 1 attack speed, Jesus, can you throw more into... Th this skill alone is supposed to, like, build the kit of the whole character. <laughs> Trifling wins, double chance... Single enemy is increased to double and up to two can hit the single enemy. However, you cannot exceed the limit of the number of created spirit energies. And if you attack the maximum amount of enemies, it will only be double on a single enemy hit. Hmm. So it's only for bossing, basically. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this one. The storm wind, yeah. His damage number was way down, right? Well, one soon. <laughs> Hopefully does more. And then this uh, Howling Gale should become a bit more interesting with the three modes. Single Tornado, Big Tornado, Double Big Tornado, right? Consuming three Wind Energies. <laughs> oh, Isle Wim looks a little bit different. Still has the old icon though. Wind wall. The vortex is very yellowy now. Not super easy on the eyes if I'm say so myself. And some changes. Trifling wind have been changed to trifling wind storm wind. Trifling vortex final damage boost has been changed from two to four percent, and fairy turns final damage boost has been changed from four to two percent. Oh. 
Touch is so underwhelming that even Scarter is yawning. So I don't know why I'm yawning, bro. I slept enough hours. I have no idea why, but actually, did I sleep enough hours? Let me think. Yeah, I, al I only just got seven in. If I have less than eight, then this is what we get. This is what you get. Sadly. Okay, so these changes. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we'd be interested to see the Korean players' feedback. Because it all seems pretty mild. Um, I have to see it in action. I don't know if you guys saw tests, uh, server footage from Korea. I think Copperson played a little bit, right? Can't believe it only took one patch cycle for the community to revert back to next on <laughs> <laughs> Next one's still mostly bad. I really like the Destiny update. Next one, great. And then, oh, next one, back to bad. It's Morbin time. Nice. Shadow momentum. I wonder how different the play style for Nightwalker is going to be afterwards. It seems that the visuals and, you know, the way that the bats split up and stuff like that is going to be very different but i'm wondering if people are going to feel like the identity of the night walker is going to be very different i hope not yeah that's like bare bare minimum the juke okay quintuple throw darkens omen shadow stitch finally a workable bind though that's going to be nice for them. Bad toggle. Guard bug in E4. See the eyes of the characters who are like stuck in here. <laughs> Shadow illusion, 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 collusion. Shadow collusion. Dominion. And there were some spear changes as well. Shadow servant extended. I think they tweaked the shadow servant activation as well, and they're it's targeting quite a bit to hope that it'll do smarter damage. And let's just be attacking the air as much. Should I buy, rip a throw. And then a thunder breaker. As you can see, the uh, shark in the skills has lost some weight. Compared to Tespia 1, he was uh, a little bit more of a chonker, but they put him on a diet. These are the jutsu hand symbols you have to use before you activate the gale. <laughs> Electric charge. Give us some more toggles, baby. And it, if a toggle is just 100% better than not having it on, why is it not just a passive? I ask of you. Or just a toggle that toggles itself on all the time that you can choose auto turn on or opt out, you know? Oh, big old explosion. Primal bolt. Shamu. Hmm. Look at that lightning. Lightning Cascade. Giant shark torpedo. Again, still the old picture, even though there's a new shark in town. Oh, for people with uh, epileptic tendencies, I'm sorry for this uh, skill. Uh, for all these skills, I've got for this class, too much going on. And the Tile Crash Carrows have been changed to Tile Crash slash Sea Wave, which was that, you know, that orb, remember, that you would just spawn every now and then and it would run across the map trying to kill things. Um, the Mihal changes from the first to the second KMS Tespia seemed rather promising, but I was hoping they would continue that line 
instead of just doing nothing with it afterwards. Hmm. Hmm. Shining chase. Upward chase. Everyone get that up jump. Everyone get that 100% knockback resistance. It was mainly the fourth job with the new animation and the amount of targets hit or something, right? I think that was relevant for Mihail. Yeah, the offensive defense was buffed a bit. Well, quite a bit, actually. Yeah, and then the skill. They changed a lot from the initial test PR. Okay. So raise toggle, install shields. A oh, shield, uh, shield, singular. Thirty percent one-handed sword mastery, fifty attack, fifteen critical, fifteen percent critical damage. <laughs> Damn, you can't even use like a two-handed axe on a Mihal. Feels bad. I'm guessing the install shield is going to be quite popular, but Royal Guard and Shining Cross are all useful skills, I guess. Shining Cross the least because you use the other, the other main attack. Lumian struggle. Whoa. Lotus Damien struggle twenty k plus. Most people right now are soloing around like 14, 15k. <laughs> maybe he means that the people, or the person's mega, maybe means that the other people, even at 20k plus, would be struggling to carry, to carry him fast enough bef before he would die out, because he's that bad, maybe. That's probably what he meant. Deadly charge. Big old new animation. Large shiny dude. Looks a little bit paladin y to me. Of course, you're gonna have some overlap, right? Almost solo at 11k? Yeah, wait, were there, were there people who sold it at like 7, 8, 9k now, actually? Yeah. But, you know, that's basically getting carried by guild skills. But I remember way back in the day, I did a 17 minute clear on my cannoneer a long, long time ago. And that was with guild skills, and that was a very long boss fight. But. Yeah, just because of power creep, that character with almost, with pretty much no upgrades, probably made a little bit of strength here or there. Compared to then, compared to now, is like destroying it, nuking it. Never mind, I made a huge upgrades. It was 17k stat. Yeah, I'm like 30 now. Never mind. <laughs> that whole story made no sense. Just completely ignore all that. Uh, Shield of light, sword of light. Give it some extra damage, some extra utility. Sort of soul light. Light of courage. Looking quite different. Uh, soul blade changed to shining pierce. Royal guard changed to royal guard offensive defense. Excuse me, soul driver changed to soul assault. Soul clash changed to soul release. And Soul Assault Cores have been changed to Install Shield Soul Maj Majesty. And the prefixes have been changed. Everyone's getting sucked up in the darkness. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. We saw the new NPCs already. We saw the new quest line. We saw the Rise of the Shield hero. Remember that? We saw young ish Cygnus. She was only 80 years old. I don't, I don't, I don't know how these characters age. It's Morbin time, dude. They're probably old as fuck. Extra EXP for Tenebris and Grandis stuff. It's quite a bit. Hotel Arcus 19 bill extra just for free. And again, hope we get that retroactively, but definitely not. Yeah, I remember this one. Demon Force lines. Hmm. Message and non reboot. The Arc Innocent Scrolls icon. 
has been changed, so you can see it more easily. Okay. Okay, okay. You can select the characters now. You have filters on the characters select in the yeah, character select screen. Ah, okay. Whew, they added it. He added it again. So only characters have acquired a thousand or more weekly hunting points or 40 boss points can participate in flag race. Okay. So that is compared to now. I think now you have to have 5,000 weekly hunting points or 80 boss points. So that's quite a lower uh, entry. Yeah, but we'll be able to flag race whenever. That's the main, <laughs> that's the big quality of life. That's what this whole patch is for. Uh, bind resistance icon on bosses. That's gonna be pretty useful, especially if you have a zero in your party who's trying to slam a bunch of buffs down. Or people asking like, when is bind back up? Well, just look at the cooldown timer, you know, and then you, <laughs> then you know when it's back. So that's pretty good. Uh, making the all of the coupons, the XP coupons and everything look different from each other so it's hard to tell which buff is expiring and which one you should be switching out so that's good stuff oh yeah and if an exp coupon expires you'll get a pop-up you'll be able to see what items that you are putting up for sale have been selling for recently uh, oh you no longer have to find the rose clipping to get your pocket slot available. That's good. Extra Star Force map in Kerning Tower. And then all of the red crosses have been removed and changed into blue, green, uh, or gray ones. Because you're not allowed to use red crosses anywhere. I've been a lot of video games have been removing them. So a lot of items are looking a little bit sus now. Mm -hmm. with legendary potential. Oh yeah, so 30 boss is also no longer a prime line in legendary. It's going to be 35 or 40. But of course the existing 30% lines will not change. So you have a 30, 20 something else item. Even though they agree that it should be a 35, 30 something else. Which is 15% damage extra. Uh, they still won't change your item. You're still stuck with the old lines. Oh, it does say when using red cubes, black cubes, and Meister cubes. Okay, never mind. Those are all the ones. Wait, so if you use other cubes, like violet cubes or something, you can still get 30 technically for the top line? Oof. So I'm just going to maintain, yeah. Yeah, and the tier up changes for Korea. Black cubes in 1.2% instead of 1%. Can you believe this is the average 100 black cubes for a tier up to legendary, guys? From unique to legendary? Make sure you feel okay with your tier up rates, okay? Especially like a DMTing. It's going from 1% 1, 1 to 1.2%. And for bonus cubes, get from unique to legendary, zero, a little bit under 0 0.5 to 0.6%. But you know, both of these are 20% increase, but. That's still so low. And no more plus all skill levels on Magnificent Souls. Which, where are my Beast Tamers at? Is the plus skills more meta now? Because of the extra skill points you get, so you can get more mileage out of it? Or does it not matter because you need to put so many skill points in the skills to even get to the higher level skills where you can rely on the skill points that you end up not really getting that much mileage out of the buff? What is there? Cube. Oh, there? Um, I think it's half of ours, if I'm not mistaken, for cubes. Could be off though, yeah. It improves that when you defeat a boss monster, you will become invincible until you are moved to the next phase. Nice. Moving to 75's Bongson will no longer use the weapon defense increase skill. Rip. 
BT still needs plus three for max bossing damage. Gotcha, okay. So typically you get like one from your familiar badge and then two from your weapon? Or how do people usually go for it? Or two from your soul weapon, uh, weapon soul I should say. Okay, I remember all of these changes. Mm -hmm. Nothing crazy here, nothing crazy here. This is all just filler stuff. Hopefully there's some annoying stuff in there that people no longer have to deal with. <laughs> the interval between the timer start time and the monster summoning time has been changed to be less affected by the PC environment. Hmm. For Dojo specifically, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cash up new styles. Oh, this is all just gonna be cash up because KMS's cash up game is on another level. Look at it. Look at it. Chife Knight's hat and weapon boxes. Good old Chife Knight. Chief Knight. Hmm. Hmm. Cold hands and silver hands, hair and face coupons. Oh, the ones that <laughs> I remember people getting so mad that they picked all of the weird ones and didn't pick any of the serious ones. That they eventually just had to buy them all. <laughs> they had to bring them all back. Just to keep people happy. Because the goal was to have better community involvement, and then you do community involvement, and then you had non-community people guessing, like, meme entries. So this is the hyper-burning character. You can create an existing, like an existing character between 200 and 248. Oh yeah, so they don't... Why don't they just make it stop at 250? It's probably better to do it only until 248 anyway, and then use some big level up potions, right? That you probably get somewhere else. I bring characters to receive the following growth support rewards through a quests. Mysterious secret box, yeah. Legendary secret box, black set. 15 star time limited Rutabis set box. 15 star Rutabis, pog. Uh, same potential limited time for your box. All equipment will be untreated. Wait, okay, so wait guys, is this potential actually rollable or not? Right now, is it? Eternal Flame Title Voucher. This can only be used after level 200. Eternal Flame Title Stats will expire in 60 days. Isn't it usually 30? 60 is pretty big. But yeah, it's not so eternal if it's only 60 days. You can't roll it, right? Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, and then, oh my god. Look at all this free stuff. Okay, here's the list, guys. Alright. Next winter, getting a character to 250. Here's all the free stuff. 200, level 5. R finishing Symbol. Okay, and 50 nodes. Just for getting the 200. Okay, 210, level five, Choo Choo Island symbol and the eternal flame ring voucher. 215, 50 nodes. 220, level five, Lacaline symbol. Choice between Absolab weapon box and a dominator pendant box, okay. 225, level five, Arcana symbol and 50 nodes. 230, level five, um, or, um, morass symbol and a hyper burning outfit set vouchers and another 50 nodes level 235 and a s level 5 as first symbol and an experience node level 240 two experience nodes level 245 two more experience man i t i wish they didn't do this just give people 50 nodes it's way more viable than two experience nodes but and then level 250 infinite flame title voucher infinite flame title voucher and what is in that one That's not eternal flame. This is infinite flame. Maybe that one is actual infinite. Um, can be only claimed by characters who have completed the fifth job advancement and the another power arcane force quest. Maybe it's 90. Yeah, maybe it's 90 days. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Relentless, never-ending 
at infinitum perfect non-expiring flame title and then it's like oh this one is 120 days and like, oh shit <laughs> each area's level 5 working symbol reward can be claimed after completing that area's quest that rewards the symbol of course um oh look there's a google a google play button oh next on play uh, during the event, you can acquire play points when you reach certain levels with a newly created character desi designated as a hyper burning character. Oh, if it's a newly created character. Hmm. First 100,000 people. The first 1,000 people to get to level 260 get 100,000 play points. The first 50 people to get to 270 get a million play points. What? In regular world. First five people in reboot get a million. Wait, why is it only wow one tenth of people? <laughs> oh damn! The first zero point zero 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 people. That's probably one thousand. I'm guessing because it seems to be ten percent of the other one. Mm, okay. Only hyper burning characters designated upon character. I don't know if this, this this seems like a very Korea thing. I don't think we're gonna be getting that. 10k? No, so like here it's 100k and then here 10k, here's 10k, so it's probably 1k here. And then here's 1k and here's 100 and here's 50 and here's five, so. So it's most likely gonna be 1k, but they just forgot to switch to zero for one. Uh, one for zero. <laughs> and then we have burning, burning two, burning three, and burning four. What the hell? Is KMS popping again? Didn't they usually only have two burning worlds? Or even one? One or two? Now they have four? Damn. You can world leap to all worlds except Reboot and Reboot 2. Rip. <laughs> one day, guys. One day we'll be able to to teleport and world leap us into Burning World. Uh, into Sorry, into Reboot from Burning World. But it'll only happen once everyone already has a 9k Legion. <laughs> So they probably have the regular step up, the regular equips, the regular buffs. 50 all set, 2500 HP, MP, 100% stance, 30% critical damage, 30% critical rate. Everything damage to normal monsters and to regular monsters. And then 50 weapon magic attack and 1.5x EXP. EXP. Three mega burning characters. You'll get a bunch of free stuff. And in Burning World, you can also create a zero if you have a level 100 or higher character. Okay. Yeah, the same step up thing as always with a whole bunch of free stuff. <laughs> level 220, get 160 arcane power, unique emblem box. Boom. So then you will no longer be able to train your characters and then World Leap happens. We know the drill by now. Reboot World from June 30th to September 8th, you can receive two Mega Burning Boosters. Oh, to compensate for the entire Burning World that does nothing for us, you get two Mega Burning? Damn! Crazy. And that's World Leap, Cygnus Knights Remaster Event Honor and Pride. Damn. Uh, Sigunosu. Sigunosu. Nice. Wait, isn't O? No. Signus. Gisadan. Gisadan? Hmm. Any percent ID for Vellum? Yeah, that's recommended. Oh, does this look familiar to anyone? Hmm. 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 Gisa means knight. I see. Wizard one was god. <laughs> Guys, and he's trying to get me to play Wizard 101. <laughs> that would truly be the beginning of the end. I can't be doing that. She's actually talking down on doing a Raid Shadow Legend sponsorship, but she wants to play Wizard 101. It's like her main game. This is what is going on? I actually have a max storm and a max death on Wizard 101. Oh no. Potato. 
<laughs> Rosebus is also one. Don't you want to be a wizard casting spells? I mean, in Maple Story, that's every single thing we do all the time. We use, all, everyone uses a bunch of magic. Okay. Um, I don't pretty why. Blah 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 blah. What's the stuff? Show me a pet. Wow. Oh, it's a Shinsu. Jesus, I was like, it's someone with their face smushed against the ground, but it was kind of hard to see. And then we have the two rings. Um, wow, this is hella ugly. Um, <laughs> sorry, this looks like it was still in the design process, but they just slapped it on because it was like, eh, it's good enough. <laughs> I don't know, is this me? I, okay, sorry, I don't want to impose on you guys how you should feel about it, but to me this <laughs> looks ugly shit, but um, This chair, however, looks pretty cool. Whoever works on the chair team did a better job IMO um, A unit damage skin You need uh, yeah a unit damage skin with the most obnoxious <laughs> banners for letters <laughs> I Mean it looks kind of cool, I guess and then a whole bunch of NX outfits. Okay, the Dawn Warrior actually has a sword, but it has a one-handed sword for some reason. Um, hmm, Wind Archer bow looks kind of cool. Thunderbreaker outfit looks kind of cool. Blaze Wizard just looks like an Evan. That worker looks like budget cosplay, kind of. The Mihal just only has a shield, yeah. Okay. Petite Shinsu package. Oh, it's a petite pet. Damn. Vac Shinsu. Huge. And then there's some free stuff. Knight's Pride title voucher, personality growth potion, Mitra's double experience coupon box, new knight support box, 50 symbols, five um, nodes, and five special medals of honor, two of five, another 50 symbols and five nodes. Level 210, another 10 nodes, and 50 symbols, and another 50 symbols, and an EXP node, 215. What's with the 10 5, 5 on the nodes? The fuck? Why are they getting so little? Wasn't other things like 20, 20, 30 or something? Hmm. Okay, an experience node, another 50 symbols, and then 100, and then 10 nodes, amazing. And one unique emblem box at 220. Recognizable. Oh, wait, maybe it's a five node box that you can open like multiple times, maybe? Hmm. No, it doesn't look like it. Rip. It's not a vac, it's just small. If it was a vac, it'd be called Petite Luna or something. Oh, Luna is not the name of a pet. Luna is a prefix. Petite Chinsu? Well, why not just say Shinsu? Of course the pet is not going to be the size of actual fucking Shinsu. The <laughs> game would be unplayable if the pet was that big. Jeez, what is the ceiling of this map? Ignition Fireworks Festival. Let's fly to the top. Okay, what is this? What is this? Jesus! Sorry. Shit is bopping. Oh my god, it's a rave. Do we have rave doge? Oh, we don't. It's kind of a bop, actually. Yeah, yeah, bone zone. That's the one I need. Go to Chesto tonight? No, we're already here, dude. Grab some LSD and some glow sticks. Seto Bonkle Zone. Are these Lego characters? Set to build. I want to hear it again. Let's play at the casino in your city. Oh shit. Uh, all right. So, uh, oh, that's this looks very different. I wonder if this is 20k NX and then allows you to double up on the rewards on the left side, huh? 
All right, these ignition coins. This event seems like it is exactly the same as the current event. Um, yeah. Wait, we're starting off with these potions? Oh, there's two big level up potions. Yeah, it might be more in there. 400 flag coins per week per world. Yeah, so that's the same. These are just copy pasted, baby. Monthly missions. <gasps> Monthly missions with ignition coins. New! Look at this 50, 100, 150, 200. There are 200 daily missions. Monthly, so you have to do seven a day at least. Or at least almost seven. 50 weekly missions. Ooh, DJ Selena's a showtime. I'm getting a bunch of extra if you do all of these. Okay. Yeah, live had that. Yeah, exactly. It's like a combination of live and uh, and destiny. Fireworks pass. Tap to pay 3,000 maple points for a single stamp. Pog champ. Oh, look. It's going to look like all different colors. Firework. Aw, cute. Here's your pass the season. Pay 39,000. Why are you guys saying it's 40k? It's only 39,800, chat. Come on. That, that almost leaves you enough for an extra Maple 2 run. Almost, Annie. Almost enough for another Maple 2 run, okay? To receive two of every reward. So that gets you an extra Growth Potion Selector. Not Growth Potion. Level Potion Selector. Um, extra Symbol Selector. Extra Experience Node Stone. Two extra level two up to 250 potions. Extra OP Ring. I don't know why the damage skin is in there. An extra Unique. Hmm. But okay. Maximum growth potion voucher. This. Why does it feel like we're getting almost the same stuff, but we're paying double for it? <laughs> Feeling less worth. IMO. Blaze points. Uh. Oh, the stamps also give you. Oh, also give you blaze points, and also have a skill tab built into it. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Skill level 1, 4 blaze points. Skill level 2, 6. Level 3, 15. Level 4, 30. And level 5, 50. Jesus. It is a period of high inflation. True, yeah. They have the past price and the stuff is worth more in their opinions. Hmm, I see. Yeah, I mean, it could be, it could be, to to them, but what it, what something is worth to me will always be <laughs> low, because I'm a stingy motherfucker, but, yeah. The sets of Ignition Blaze skill when they are level 5 are as follows, 35% damage to regular and to boss, 35 IED, 25 crit, 25 buff duration, 12.5% EXP, Ugh, there's never a crit damage in here, man, fuck. 50 all stat, 50 arcane power. 25 weapon magic attack, 2,500 HP. Okay, when can we get HP and MP actually into the 21st century? What do you mean level 5 skill is 2,500 HP and MP? Dude, this should be like 25,000 at least. Why is it 2,500 for, <laughs> for 5 level? It's 500 per level. How does this scale with... Hmm, you get to choose. What do you want? 35% IED or 2,500 HP and MP? By the way, if you make a new character, you already have 9,000 HP if you have a, a high legion. Like, why? And you just see this Showtime Fireworks Dance. I like the, the logo thing though, but it kind of, it kind of reminds me of something. What was that festival again, where it was like super exclusive and they were basically like $15 tents and the whole festival just got blown out by weather and everyone paid like thousands of dollars and everyone just canceled? What? <laughs> Why is that reminding me of this? What was that called again? <laughs> the fire festival? Didn't they have a logo like this? Hang on. Didn't they have a logo? Oh shit. Look. <laughs> it's I mean, a flame is going to be a flame, but it kind of reminds me. 
Kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> I hope this one doesn't fucking burst into flames. I guess it was meant to happen for them. How to spot a DA main bitching about HP scaling? Listen, bro. It's not like everyone else gets a huge advantage out of more HP, so there's no point in keeping it low. Like they ironically said, we don't want to give Demon Avengers... We don't want to give HP for... Um, for all stat, because then everyone's HP would be too high. And it's like, dude, what the fuck? Like, high HP doesn't matter at all in this game. Everything does percentage HP. And potions heal up to like 500,000 HP. Why does it even matter? It's such a weak, weak ass excuse. Okay. Um, okay, you have the, ooh, you have the nice logo that uh, will flame, flame on. Okay, big old numbers, EXP coming. A lot of EXP, always nice. Right, he's got two full team brothers. What the hell, man? How am I supposed to? No, that is too much defense. Never mind. I have to nuke him. Nuke his ass. Oh wow, this looks kind of cool. <coughs> okay, defeat 100 monsters within level range. The fever gauge will fill up by one bar. If you 300, either the normal fever skill or the lucky fever skill will be activated. Ooh. More experience. Nice, nice. Arcade Festival Ignition Star Bridge. <laughs> Ignition Star Bridge. Hmm. I wonder what kind of game this is going to be, guys. You guys have any idea? <gasps> oh, there's like stars that are floating and then you have to like connect them with lines or something. What? Yo, that's crazy. I wonder where they came up with that. That's crazy. Find the differences. Oh, guys, remember the remember the trick where you have to like cross your eyes and shit to uh, to overlap the two pictures together so you can see all the differences light up like a Christmas tree. Sounds difficult and confusing. Count me out. No. <laughs> well, the joke was that it's the current mini game. Da -da -da. Oh, giant hammers. Bonk. Giant bonking hammers. Is this how we're going to get our levels? By bonking ourselves? Oh, no. It launches us. Oh, it's a mini game. Double jump, toy hammer swing. Is this is this PvP? Oh, God. It's PvP, boy. <laughs> Time to bombard each other with the giant hammers. Okay, sounds <laughs> sounds interesting. Hey, these look familiar though. The center looks like a thumbs up, or it looks like looks like <laughs> like that a little bit. The Hamar, the MC Hamar, indeed. All right, we'll have different um, fireworks show. Oh my God, one with 15% EXP for 30 minutes that lasts for 10 minutes in a map and then one for 15 everything. That's crazy. I wonder where they got <laughs> inspiration for that. They're just keeping up with this new stuff, guys. Just innovative Nexon. So much innovation going on in that company, man. Our money's well spent. Well, not mine, <laughs> I don't spend money, but Everyone else who does, does is their, their is monies. All right, um, shop. Let's see if there's anything crazy here or if it's just a copy pasted shop as well. Arcane River droplets, limit of 10. Oof, okay. Event ring only Meister Cube, limit of 90. That's quite a bit. 100% event ring only legendary scroll 17 star enhancement this all looks very similar to the stuff we have seen in previous updates 40 slot soul bag 20 slot scroll bag limit of, oh you can buy 50 nodes now at least that's a little bit more right they're actually allowing us to get more nodes 20 40 60 legendary circulator Black circulator, yikes, huge scam. Oh no, no, chaos circulator, that's a huge scam. 
Uh, selective authentic symbol, 150 coins. Okay, so they're keeping with 150 instead of 200. That's nice of them. Uh, any unit damage skin? Ignition fireworks damage skin unit. Okay, and then some mounts and a 40 slot chair bag. And this is what some of the stuff is going to look like. If you guys are interested. Oh, here's the damage skin. Unit damage skin. I'm just not a fan of the fucking fireworks around it, the sprites. Not my thing, but... Okay, giant watermelon mount that you can roll around on by the looks of it. With small wedges of watermelon <laughs> following you around. Okay. And then the flare coin shop. That's going to have the same items as now, I imagine. Just droplets and flames for reboot. And then non-reboot has a bunch of other stuff. Oh yeah, and black circulators, but those are typically not worth. And then a mezzo shop with probably a fairy heart, question mark. And good old 250 million eternal karma flames. Limit of 30, because you know, <laughs> for people who want to spend more than seven and a half bill on 30 flames. Uh, Oh, yeah, here it is, fairy art. Cool, okay. Oh, this outfit is back. That's been a while. And there are the other outfits, and then a cash up transfer, and a special sunny Sunday with petite pet time. Oh, with a 30 day sherbet again. Is that gonna be standard now? Like a 30 day vac pet on, on summer and, uh, and winter events? Damn. Okay, seems like the new the new normal. Another vac pet. Okay, okay. The second to fifth box have a hundred percent chance to receive two hundred ignition coins. And then each box gives a chance to reveal one of the following, and then you have all of the yeah. You know. Petite lantern, dawn pet, twilight. You just have to know if these pets. Well, these pets are just all. These are all fact pets, right? You just have to know by the name, I guess. Huh. Okay. Well, so no huge changes, sadly, for the for the skills. I know some people were looking forward to some of those. Sadly, none for y'all. Um, but you know, a lot of the stuff going through and some quality of life stuff. And a huge event with, um, I guess, the current event, but not just a copy paste, but building on top of it, and giving us the the skills to build, and extra power to get from that, which is interesting because right now we have none of that, right? I'll just add the um, the boom, the boom. This is heading one, yes, and then we'll add all of the skills here to the memory and those will be in the file that has all of the upcoming skill changes that have not been that are live in KMS but have not been released for um, KMS yet uh, for GMS yet they'll be in that file and I guess we have to make a little bit of an assumption whether we think the classes are going to be buffed or nerfed based on that we'll go through that file at some point at some point i guess we can do that now nice i like the flashing lights with the selecting okay three two one am i done almost this is the last character right yes easy clap oh v core changes yeah i'll include the v core changes in that as well and uh, post. Brr. I'll take a hot minute. Um, at least then you can still see the updates. One, two, three, six, four is not in here, but it's possibly part of this one. And all the classes here, the headings work out. Cool. Headers, not headings. Okay. Well. Let me know if there's anything you guys want to give comments on on the YouTube video.
we'll read them all and we will soon tm also pick the winners for june for the progression session so if you haven't left a comment yet on the videos make sure you do that blaze wizard is pretty happy i mean getting a bind in general it's pretty nice i should be pretty happy with the remaster i feel i definitely am i think the burst is supposed to be a lot better but i don't know how people feel about the um being now kind of just only bursts and mobbing and then the off bursts i, I think that was where people were talking about the, the the off bursts a little bit and that it just feels weird to introduce the, the the purple cosmos balls kind of out of nowhere that it doesn't feel like like dawn warrior it doesn't feel like something that they had the whole time so it's going to be strange to get used to but i mean yeah you're going to have to get used to it and you'll probably get used to it in like a week or so but that first week is probably going to be a little bit weird pretty short burst listen dude don't burst shame okay uh but yeah hopefully you enjoyed being kept up to date a little bit on what's going on in korea so six months away for us we can expect this update and hopefully still playing then during the winter thanks for watching